Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite tools in Photoshop, which is the clone stamp tool. So this client, we've already painted her lake, but then she wanted to do like a full background of greenery around it. And so we're, I painted that and what I had on the page was kind of in the way, but I didn't really want to go through the process of redrawing out this lake. So I just painted over it. I kind of didn't get quite to the top where I wanted. And I'm gonna use um, the clone stamp tool to get rid of the ghosts of these boats and this uh, compass rose. We actually will put that back on top and we'll put the boats in the lake. I have this smaller because the clone stamp falls like right where my loom controls are. Uh, so this is the clone stamp tool. And I have also added and two adjustment layers for hue and saturation and brightness contrast. I have a YouTube video on that if you want to check it out. And I used the marquee tool with um, a set ratio to make sure that I got this to the exact size of the card that I would be using it for. So I've done pretty much all my editing to this photo before I'm gonna go through and do this because that's just the easiest way to go. You can change the size and hardness of the brush. There's a lot of different modes you can use. There's a lot of different opacity. I'm gonna use like 70% opacity and potentially do a few layers because with a splotchy watercolor like this, um, I don't want the edges to be hard. Sometimes you want that. Um, and you can do just so many things here. Uh, so you've got this little bubble and the first thing that you have to do is click Alt and you get the target. And so that's gonna be where you are stamping from. And I usually like to keep it close when I'm doing something like this. We'll start with this rowboat. So I'm going to click into this dark part here. So I do Alt click and then, oh, that's why we're not working. All right, so I have to have the actual layer selected. That's why, all right, we'll try it again. Alt click. And then you can actually see what's going to show up in the bubble and the plus sign is exactly what's being cloned into the bubble. So basically whatever I'm holding down the click right now, whatever's in the plus sign will be transferred to the circle. So that's what we're doing here. And I have it at 70% opacity. So it's not necessarily going to cover 100% and we might need to do it two times, um, but you'll see where that's darker and it comes in and then um, I might grab something slightly different just because with watercolor. So if you do two 70%, it'll probably end up fine. So now that bow is pretty much gone. I may do one more. And this is a great way to also fix things like this where there's just kind of a little weirdness in the photo that I took or if you have a white spot that you want to get rid of, um, the clone stamp is a great way to do that. This blob looks a little weird to me now, so I might um, just bring in some of these darker patches. Since it's 70%, it's not going to feel really hard. So now that blob is no longer like a square shape, but looks a little bit more natural. And then you can just kind of do that um, throughout. I will go ahead and do a couple more pieces. Here we kind of want the inside of the rose. If you go too far, you might start stamping, you know, the part that you don't want onto the part you want. So you kind of got to watch where you're going in some cases, but luckily the little plus sign will tell you. And I do this to, um, I do this a lot for a lot of reasons. This is kind of where photographers will take a, a face from one photo where someone's eyes are closed or not, not closed and put it into the photo where their eyes are closed. So you get everyone in the photo with their open eyes. And then I'll show you kind of, I'll finish the compass rose in a minute, but I'll show you what I would do up here, which is just literally the same thing. I might make this brush bigger because I have a larger space to fill. Um, you don't necessarily want to cover, to clone just like this entire giant area because people are gonna see that. So you want to take different elements um, and make it look a little bit more natural by blending those together. And then you could always use the different blending modes or the smear tool or any number. I mean, Photoshop is just full of tools that help you blend things. <laughs> so you could use any number of blending tools if there's like a hard line created somewhere that you don't love uh, to make everything just match and feel good. So I'm just taking a lot of different pieces and adding them up here. 
just because of the style of this, it's not as easy to do with like a venue drawing or something like that, but it's something that I use a lot to cover up white spots. It's something I use um, to extend things, like if I need to extend the grass of a certain piece and I didn't paint it quite far enough, <laughs> that's a really good reason that I use this tool. So hope that you enjoyed this little mini tutorial. Um, and you'll let me know what you think about using the clone stamp tools.